For over two years, I have made a complete fool of myself on YouTube. Now, it's time to learn a little bit more about myself. This is Vlog with a Friend. Basically, the idea here is that what I want to do is I want to do a series um, interviewing my friends mm -hmm. to try and find out more about myself, become more self-aware. Oh, okay. Because obviously I'm oblivious. <laughs> oh, boy. So hopefully you're going to sh shed some light hmm. on myself. How long have you known me for? Are we recording? We're recording right now on both cameras. <laughs> okay. I have known you since grade 8. Yeah. Which would have been... We graduated in 01. Yeah. So four years ahead of that. 97. 96, 97. Probably 96, 97 yeah. school year. Yeah. Yeah. So 97, 07, 15 years. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't done the math yet. 15 years. Okay. What were your first impressions? Okay. Yeah, do you remember? Great. Do you yeah. remember? Yeah, absolutely I do. Yeah. Uh, my first impression was um, th this guy is kind of following us around. Yeah. And he's trying to make friends. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm interested in, in getting to know him. Why? Because why is he following us around? <laughs> like, us. like a little dog. Yeah, like no. us. I mean, oh, okay. I'm thinking of Matthew. Right. And yeah. Peter. Right. Caleb to a certain extent, and yeah. uh, Steve and Brandon Clooster. Wow, yeah, yeah. So, so you had just kind of identified with that group of people. Right. Yeah, and so I thought, you know, this guy's hanging around. I do have another first impression. Oh, okay. Sort of. Yeah. The glasses that you wore just before that, <laughs> yeah. I remember as a child, as a young yeah. person, explaining to my parents that you were <laughs> not retarded. <laughs> Yeah. Just because of the glasses. The glasses yeah. just... It, well, grade, grade 8 was the first year I had contacts. Yes, that's right. right. That's right. So I wore contacts yeah. for basically all the rest of my school year. Right, and I, I knew you as the guy th that didn't wear glasses. Yeah. So. That's funny. Yeah, those are the two <laughs> first impressions. Okay. I also remember you invited me to your birthday party that year. I believe it was in a grade 8. Or uh, it was a grade 9 maybe you did. Uh, I don't even remember now. It was probably that year. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, it was before Caleb was buff. Right. <laughs> Before you wrote it out and stuff. Yes. Like well, he didn't use it. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> yeah. After we began hanging out and stuff like that, uh -huh. um, well, I guess, what do you remember of grade eight? <laughs> Going all the wow. way back to Pioneer Middle Pioneer School. Elementary PMS. School. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. So, what do I remember? Well, I, I remember that I felt like grade eight was when my life began. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. My, because of me. Yeah. Well, part, oh. partly. No, okay. I, I'm I'm okay. being serious because I reflected on I reflect on everything. Yeah. Um, Pioneer is grade eight was when I I had a set of friends that remained until grade twelve and beyond. Okay. Before that, it was always a best friend every year, and that always changed. Right. So grade okay. eight was when I kind of sat down, and I became good friends with you. Mm -hmm. And we just we just continued as a group. We kind of right. had to find who we were. Yeah. Why do you think that changed? Oh. What was it about grade eight specifically? <laughs> it could have been the class structures were different. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, I, I want to say maybe it had something to do with the fire. Yeah. And how now we were in a brand new school, and right. it was sort of like things were normal. Yeah, because I mean. Well, no one knows this, but the, our school burnt down in grade six. Yes. And then grade seven, we were in these weird little interests. Like we had like little trailers and stuff we went to and stuff like oh, that. It was. And weird. part of it was in the in the old school. Part of it was in like the trailers that they had hooked up to the school yeah. and stuff. It was weird. And then finally, the new school was built in yeah. grade eight. Yeah. We had two extra weeks of summer, and then oh, the school right. was yeah, yeah. ready. And it felt like a shopping mall to me. Oh yeah, the museum is like the atrium and yeah. stuff that was there. Yeah, and, and they yeah. would play music. <laughs> you know <laughs> exactly yeah. so yeah yeah, yeah. I, I don't know I, I don't know exactly why things changed but maybe yeah, that yeah. was it so how about high school what about it yeah what do we remember about high school well <laughs> <laughs> I remember that we did a lot of walking around the school yeah yeah um, well there's lots of memories I guess yeah general impression was that it was 
It was good. We yeah. talked about a lot of stuff. I didn't have an experience of drama the right. way that I hear people do now. Yeah. However, looking back on some of my journals, I realized that there was probably more going on than right than floats. Did you have? Because um, I, I I mean I hear that too. I mean I don't remember. I think I think it all does stem back to the fire and how I think that our, at least our class that grade I guess mm -hmm. was maybe a little bit more close knit than other ones were. But I mean. Yeah, I didn't have, like, a terrible high school experience. I mean, no. I had a kind of a regular, like, people will talk about you every once in a while, but I mean... Yeah. But there wasn't, like, huge bullying and stuff that I encountered. No. I mean, I'm also 6'4", and I was 6'4 back then, too, so maybe that has something to do yeah. with it, but... Yeah. <laughs> well... I don't know. Yeah. Um, people, people liked you. Well, yeah, sure. They did. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. They did. <laughs> okay. I was always quite surprised that yeah. people just liked you, and you didn't really seem to have to work for it. Right. And I thought that was great. Yeah. Like, they gave you nicknames. I always wanted a nickname, but nobody <laughs> gave me one. But they gave you nicknames. You can't, you can't just make up you your can't. own nickname. No. <laughs> I'm the ox. I was, was a what? I was... <laughs> It's funny you say that because I actually did try to get that one started. Yeah. That exact one. No, no awesome. I know. Um, yeah. yeah. So, okay. So, from from grade 8 till now, is there any... Um, I, what have, how, how has my progression gone? What have you seen that's changed or stayed the same even? Um, well, there was a there was a, an amazing change in you after the Banfield trip. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, grade... I was 11. 11. Grade, grade 11. 11, yeah, yeah. There was an enormous change. Actually, actually, mm -hmm. let me rewind there for a second. Sure. Two, two fairly big changes. One was the trip that you took to Ottawa in grade yeah. 8. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The band trip that we took. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in my peer group went on that trip. Yeah. And I didn't. Well, you weren't in band. I, I wasn't in band. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like they left me out. I chose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was... I felt quite a, a bit of a shift there. Yeah. But I remember being happy for you. Okay. Because I felt like you kind of stood out on your own a little bit more. Yeah. And people recognized you as being funny. Yeah. And it wasn't just me. Right. That, <laughs> that recognized you as being funny. Right. And it wasn't just me that was the funny guy. I knew you were funny. Yeah. I knew it. But but other people, they didn't really know that. So that, that trip was one, but Banfield yeah. was even more so. Okay. Why, why, why? Well, you came back from Banfield, and yeah. people would come to me yeah. and say, Kyle's funny. Yeah. And I said, yeah. Yeah. I know. No, but, no, but like he cracked these jokes and made up these things. I'm like, yeah. Like, he's a funny guy. Yeah. So, so there was a change there, and you, I think you recognized it after Bamfield more. Yeah. And st stood out on your own a little bit more. And there was a little bit of me that was like, oh, man, now Kyle's yeah. more popular. But I was actually really happy for you because I thought, yeah. this is going to give him a lot of confidence. And it, and it did. I think. It, I, I think it did, too. I remember coming that, that trip specifically because there was, at the end of it, we had to perform like a little skit and stuff like that at mm -hmm. the end of it. So I helped my team and everything write it up and stuff like that. And then we got to perform it, and that was always my favorite thing to do. Yes. Um, because I could play with people's expectations, because I was never the boisterous, like, class clown guy. Right, right. I was the observer, and said I could <laughs> yeah. make fun of anything very specifically <laughs> about yeah. what I've observed you actually doing. Yes. And that's kind of what I did, and then everyone... It's it, it's weird, because you get that, that quick response, someone laughs at something that you're saying, and it's like, oh, wow, I want that again. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a drug when you start making people laugh, like, I want that again, and again. Yes. Um, I actually want to try and go into a um, open mic night at one of the comedy clubs here in Calgary, and try and do like just a five minute set and see how that works out. Yeah. I mean, nothing is going to make you crash and burn quicker than trying to make people laugh at like an open mic night. Well, and, yeah. and if if you are an observational yeah person, yeah, 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 that's interesting. Okay. Um, okay, so fifteen years. It's going to be another fifteen years. Oh yeah. Okay. It better be. Sure. But that's it. Yeah. <laughs> After the yeah, we're done. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I don't see why not. You know, well, just our conversation today. Yeah. Just a very similar view of, of the importance of story and yeah. clicking in with that. And yeah. yet we have varied enough perspective that it's not right. boring. Well, yeah. I mean, you're obviously always wrong, but that's yeah. neither here nor there. Uh, all right. Well, thank you for being on the inaugural 
uh, you know, um, vlog with a friend series yeah. thing. Uh -huh. We'll see how many more of these I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now it's time for me to ask the question. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, all right. We're done.